We've all got that one friend, the one on which we can depend for two things at least. Firstly, they're always there. Secondly, they help us feel much better about our own appearance, if only by comparison. While some are best aesthetically, which doesn't help our self-esteem, possessing personality is, in a friend, the perfect dream. That thing called character, a form of protection from years of rejection. You might have felt it building. Cause hey, it's what's on the inside that counts, right? Or am I just being polite? They might be more, say, sewage waste silo than a classical statue of Venus to Milo. Perhaps instead more frothing and rabid than Michelangelo's sculpture of David. And how they ever manage to be greeted down the aisle is more of an enigma than the Mona Lisa smile. We've all got one friend like them, maybe more. And to some, we are that friend. More oily rag than oil painting, more riled goblin than Ryan Gosling. Not known, shall we say, to be a head turner. No whiplash claims here, thanks. Yet though we'd never want to see them ever in the nuddy, and never while we're eating, they will always be our buddy. Our oldest friend, our strongest connection, the mate who claims our greatest affection. So we will miss them. Having teased and tormented them when they were present, the thought of their absence now, not quite as pleasant. And the same goes for stands. For so long a home to families of fans, many generations of celebrations. Though, no longer in the plans. It's time to say farewell. And if we're honest, yes, it's due. But one thing won't be lost once we've made way for the new. Old friends won't live forever. Their passing can't be spared. But what lives on when they have gone, apart from the aches? The memories we've shared.